What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and the year is almost over. So I decided to make a video and just share some of my favorite tech of 2017. Everything on this table was either purchased by me or it was sent in for review at one point in time. Also, some of the products in here will make a great gift for the holidays for those last minute shoppers out there. And everything mentioned here, of course, will be linked below in the order that they appear. So with that said, I do wanna start off the video by talking about probably the MVP of this entire video, my camera. All right, so this here is my red digital cinema camera. This is the Scarlett W, it has a 5K sensor, and I attached the Sigma T2 18-35 to cine lens, and let's just say it's overkill for what I use it for. Um, I spent about 25 grand on this camera, guys. That's not even including the lens. The lens itself is another five grand. So yeah, you know what the sad thing is though, is I only use this like twice a month, maybe even once a month for those high production type videos. I do swap between three cameras. It's either this, the Panasonic GH5, which is most of the time, and then the A6500 from Sony, which is the one I'm using right now for this video. But yeah, I did purchase this in 2017 and it is one of my favorite pieces of tech and that is why I included it in this video. But moving on to my next favorite piece of tech, my desktop speakers, these are the Edifier Luna Eclipse E25 and I know you guys heard me talk about these so many times, but I just can't get over the quality of these. Incredible sound quality, very clear highs, a very deep bass, uh, you can connect them via Bluetooth, uh, 3.5 millimeter as well as the optical cable. I think one of the reasons why I was so attracted to these in the first place is the design. I mean, just look at these. They are not your ordinary rectangular shaped bookshelf speakers. So not only do they look cool, but they sound amazing as well. And since we're on the topic of speakers, we have these also from Edifier. So these are the Edifier R1280 powered bookshelf speakers. Technically, these are studio monitors, so you would use them for uh, monitoring audio or mixing music. But you can still use them for media, whether you're playing games or watching videos as well, because these have incredible sound quality as well. These would also look awesome in a setup with a wooden tabletop, because it does have a natural color scheme as well. Uh, silver with a wood encasing. It's a very clean design as well. You got the knobs on the side here, which can control your volume, bass, and treble and they're fairly small for bookshelf speakers, so they won't take up much space wherever you put them. I think the pair goes for around $100, but they are one of the highest rated bookshelf speakers on Amazon. Okay, since we're on the topic of audio, I do wanna mention my favorite Bluetooth speaker of all time, which is the DOS. If you guys remember a few months back, I actually gave out a hundred of these speakers. Uh, 50 of them went to my Twitter followers and another 50 went to my subscribers. And every single person that got their speakers in was actually very impressed with the sound quality. What can I say about these speakers? Um, the build quality is sturdy. Uh, the sound quality is great. These get very loud. Uh, there is a little bit of distortion at max volume, but honestly, you guys will be set at around 70, 75% max volume. It's got a pretty great bass as well, but my favorite feature of this speaker by far is the auto shutoff. I think after two to three minutes of inactive use, the speaker will actually power itself off to conserve battery life, which is awesome because I don't have to go and manually press the button to turn it off. It has an SD card reader in the back, as well as a microphone to accept calls. Uh, the battery life will get you around 10 to 12 hours of continued use. But yeah, overall a very solid Bluetooth speaker. It comes in four different colors, but yeah, this would make a great gift for anyone. I just realized there's a lot of audio devices in this video, and I didn't even notice that until I started recording. But anyways, before, I think we have two more uh, audio devices left. And before I talk about my absolute favorite headphones of all time, I do wanna talk about my other favorite wireless headphones, which are these. So these are the Trex Air wireless bone conduction headphones. It comes in this rubber carrying pouch and you can actually store your headphones in here, the micro USB charging cable, and some memory foam earplugs. My go-to source of audio has always been wireless or wired headphones, but that actually changed a few months back when I got these in. One of the things I absolutely love about these is that they don't go inside your ear. They sit around your ear and they use bone conduction technology to basically vibrate the sound to your ear. It delivers sound through cheekbones. As crazy as that sounds, it actually works. These are really comfortable to wear and it's also sweat resistant. So if you're jogging or going to the gym, you don't have to worry about damaging the headphones. And I think personally, the best part about these is that you're self-aware. Nothing is being plugged into your ears so you guys can hear 
all the background noise and ambiance. However, for those of you who really want to get lost into their music and just want to block out all outside noise, then that's what these earplugs are for. It also comes with a microphone so you can accept calls and I think the battery life gets you around six hours of use. The only downside is the price. It's a little steep. I think it's around 150 bucks, but if you guys are looking for earbud alternatives, then I definitely recommend trying this out. All right, I think it's time to talk about these. These are the pair of headphones that I've been using, I think the past two months. Uh, definitely overkill. I think they cost me around $1,500, including the custom paint job. These are the Sennheiser HD 800 open back headphones. I pretty much use these for everything. Um, watching videos, playing games, and even monitoring audio. I use these to edit my videos on. And one of the things I really love about these is the comfort level, extremely huge ear cup design. And the sound quality on these are just incredible. I mean, for $1,500, they freaking better be, right? Are they worth $1,500 though? Definitely not. But uh, this is definitely one of those impulse buys that I had because of the color scheme and everything. I just, I had to have them for my setup. Uh, definitely don't recommend this for everyone. This is, um, this is definitely overkill. Here's a pretty cool tech product that I've been using for over four years now. This is a smart lock. This is the quick lock and it's basically a smart lock. You can open this up three different ways. The first method is by using their lock. You hit the button on there, tap against the lock, and it's unlocked. Method number two is a keychain card, which I don't have with me right now. Same method, press the button, tap on it, and it opens. And the third method is using your smartphone. So once you download the quick lock app, and go inside, all you have to do is click on the unlock button and it becomes unlocked. Very simple. It comes in red and blue and I think one other color and I have like three of these around the house. So this is awesome. The battery life lasts forever. I think it lasts up to 10 years because I've had this for four years and I haven't even charged it once. But uh, it does have a micro USB port in the back so you guys can plug in and charge that if you ever need to. I love this lock so much because I don't need to carry on any keys, it's perfect. All right, moving on to some actual gaming gear. Let's take a look at the keyboard and mouse that a lot of you guys have constantly been asking me about. So this is the Logitech G613 wireless mechanical keyboard, and this is the G603 wireless gaming mouse. Logitech actually sent this over whenever it got released. I think like six months ago, it's been a long time. I was supposed to do a video on this, but I didn't have time. But I've been using it ever since for my PC builds every single month, just because they're wireless and the quality is incredible on these. So yeah, aside from the awesome build quality, it is a mechanical wireless keyboard. So the switches that the keyboard is using are Romer G. If you guys are familiar with that, I love the fact that it comes with an attached wrist rest and you can connect to the mouse and keyboard via Bluetooth or the provided dongle. On the website, it states that it has an 18 month battery life for both the keyboard and mouse, which is ridiculous, but I've had it since the beginning and I've never even replaced the batteries once, which is pretty insane. Both the keyboard and mouse do come with AA batteries, which is cool. And there's even a slot to store the receiver for both the for both the mouse and keyboard. I think for the keyboard, it's down here somewhere in this. Yeah, for the keyboard, it's actually next to the battery tray. And just to be clear, guys, I'm not a professional gamer at all. But while playing games like PUBG or Overwatch, I honestly can't tell a difference between this wireless mechanical keyboard and the Corsair mechanical keyboard that I'm using in terms of latency and response. It's pretty crazy how accurate these are. I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna judge me right now, but one of the reasons why I'm not using the mouse and keyboard for my main setup is because they don't have RGB. If Logitech came out with a RGB version of the mouse and keyboard, consider me sold, but I feel like that would impact the battery life a lot, which is one of the reasons why they didn't go with it. But yeah, a very solid mouse and keyboard combo if you guys are looking to go the wireless route and still want a quality mechanical keyboard with extremely fast response time, I recommend checking this out. I do want to quickly mention the HTC Vive. This is definitely one of my favorite pieces of tech of 2017. Um, this has definitely changed my perspective in VR. I've tried the PlayStation VR, I've tried Oculus Rift, and honestly, none of that comes close to the Vive. From the comfort of the headset to the accuracy of the controls and just overall design of the Vive, I feel like there is nothing out there that comes even close. That's just my opinion. But yeah, I just had to quickly mention that because it is definitely one of my favorite pieces of tech of 2017 and I had to put it in this video. I just had to. All right, let's talk about this little thing over here. A lot of you guys thought that this was an airless fan from Dyson and I know what you guys are talking about because it looks very similar, but it's not. This is actually a smart lamp from GE. 
General Electronics. These guys make refrigerators and washers and stuff like that. So it's crazy that they actually built a smart lamp. So this is pretty much a smart lamp with Alexa built in. It comes with its very own app and on here you guys can control the brightness, the color temperature, and you can even create certain scenes where you basically combine the brightness and color temperature on specific times of the day. For example, if you're watching movies or if it's nighttime, whatever it is, you guys can configure it within the app. There's even a pretty cool feature on here where you can set a clock display, which will tell you what time it is based on the blue and red LED indicator. That's cool and all, but my personal favorite feature is the built-in Alexa. It pretty much functions as any other device with Alexa built-in, whether it's the Amazon Echo or the Amazon Dot. Uh, let me actually test it out real quick. Hey Alexa, what time is it today? The time is 10.03 p.m. Hey Alexa, can you set a timer for 10 minutes? 10 minutes, starting now. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, it has a built-in speaker, so you can even play music on this thing. Hey Alexa, can you play Bravado from Alta? I mean, the speaker is nothing compared to an actual Bluetooth speaker or even the Amazon Echo or Dot, but the fact that it's built inside of a lamp, pretty badass. I love this thing, it's incredible. I put it next to me on my nightstand when I'm sleeping, it's, it's perfect. Last but not least, my favorite laptops of 2017, I only have two. I reviewed over 10 of them, but I only have two. The first one is none other than the Asus Zephyrus. This is one of the first laptops that actually was introduced with the Max-Q design. Look how thin this laptop is. It's got a GTX 1080 in here. This is a laptop I take with me if I need to get work done. Actually, I'm taking this with me to CES coming up, I think in three weeks. So I'm gonna be using this for editing and it can handle gaming without a problem. It is a beast. It can even handle my HTC Vive, believe it or not. So yeah guys, full review on that, check it out. I'll leave a link below. My other favorite laptop is the LG Gram. I've been using the 15 inch version for the past two years now, but they came up with their new refreshed model, which has the Coffee Lake CPU. And this is my go-to laptop. I take with me everywhere I go. This laptop weighs less than a kilogram, guys. It's one of the reasons why I love carrying this with me. It's light, compact. I can fit in one of my tiniest bags with me and it packs some serious power. This one has the new Coffee Lake 8700HQ processor on here. This is the default laptop that I take with me wherever I go. Uh, whether I'm answering emails or launching videos, messing with social media, whatever it is, this is the laptop. If I'm editing or gaming, the Asus Zephyrus is the go-to. Last but not least, my favorite piece of tech of 2017, hands down, unfortunately I can't fit it in this room, is actually my bed. This is where the action happens. This is where it goes down every single night. This is where wet dreams are made. This here is obviously my bed featuring the 8 sleep mattress. Now what makes this mattress so amazing other than how incredibly comfortable it is, is these smart features. The mattress will analyze how you sleep and display an appropriate score. But I do have to say my favorite feature is the built-in warmer. You can manually turn it on or you can set a schedule. So for example, if you sleep every night at 11 p.m., you can set a schedule for it to start warming up at 10.30 p.m. That way it's nice and toasty by the time you get into bed. I absolutely love the mattress. I think that sleep is very important and this was one of the best investments I have ever made towards my health. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up the video and all of 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, tossing a like would be awesome. And if you didn't like it, please, I encourage you to leave a dislike. I promise I won't be mad. But anyways, happy holidays to everyone and a happy new year. Thank you again for watching. I will see you in the next one.